everyone welcome back to my channel so firstly please subscribe to my channel of mc so now the question is give two reactions for electrophilic addition in alkenes okay so first we should know what is an electrophile so electrophile is nothing but the electron loving group okay electrophile it's because of the electron loving group so why it's loving means because it's having the deficiency of electron so it is accepting the lone pair of electrons okay now the, we should understand what how we should write the electrophilic addition reactions of alkenes okay so we can get into the so tetra substituted methyl carbon okay that the tetra substituted carbon is more stable than the tri substituted and di substituted and mono substituted carbon okay now we are having the tetra substituted carbon which is double bond means unsaturated so we are having the hydrogen halide okay so that is nothing but the hcl so when we observe this we can write it like this hcl okay bond between the hydrogen and chlorine right so now the chlorine is more electronegative than hydrogen right so so accepting of electrons that is lone pair of electrons by the chlorine it becomes the negative electrophile and accept and uh, losing of electrons lone pair of electrons the h is becoming the positive electrophile that is nothing but electron deficient nothing but electron deficient hydrogen okay now when we are entering into the mechanism if we observe here when we are observing here there is a double bond right so here this is the electron rich group okay so now this electron rich group is attracted by the electron different deficient hydrogen okay now this hydrogen which is the electron deficiency attaches to this carbon so to this double bond with the more number of electron lone pair of electrons okay now see this carbon so that is ch3 and next ch3 and here the attachment of the the attachment of the hydrogen so now when when, when the hydrogen is coming to here there is a deficiency of the electrons for the next carbon so it is forming the carbonium ion which is nothing but the deficiency of electrons so this is intermediate car in, at the intermediate stage we are getting the carbonium ion okay so to get rectify this carbonium ion at the intermediate position to rectify this carbonium ion at this intermediate stage we are having the chlorine which is the more ele more electron rich so it is attaches to this to this carbocation and which makes the stability of this whole group okay so that is nothing but c h3 ch3 and it is br bromine okay now we understood the whole complete about the mechanism of the electrophile in the carbon substituted tetra group right so next we can move into the alkene ethylene whenever it comes to the ethylene upper one is also the alkene so now we are having the hydrogen bromide so there is also a bond between the hbr and same the bromine is more electrophile than the hydrogen so the hydrogen is attra attaches to the more electron rich that is at the double bond so here when the hydrogen attaches to this double bond there is the deficiency of this carbon same so it forms the carbocation as like the above step carbocation with the electron deficiency is stabilized or balanced by this the electron rich bromine ion so this electron rich bromine reaction and forming the product as like this so this is the 
is the bromoethane, right? Bromoethane because the unsaturated carbon is completely converted into the saturated one. So that is the double bond is completely converted into single bond. Okay, same. The upper step also same. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel Love Pharmacy. Thank you.